So if you're looking for mosquito protection while camping, ultimately... Hey gang, I'm out car camping in the Canadian wilderness. Now whether you're on the patio, camping, or further out in the backcountry, something that might worry you are mosquitoes. Yes, I'm talking about those pesky bloodsuckers that attack unseen and leave big bumps and swells. Some even carry viruses like yellow fever, Zika virus, and West Nile. The thing is, everyone kind of has different experiences with mosquitoes. Some don't attract a lot of mosquitoes like I do, but some others, mosquitoes love. Mosquitoes love me! Now typically, the way you protect yourself is by using a spray repellent or a lotion. The active ingredient is normally DEET, and you'll need it for things like on-the-go hiking and other activities like sports. There's also alternatives that we've tried that usually include an ingredient like citronella, but it's really not that effective from our experiences. But what if you're looking for protection in like a campsite and looking for a sphere of protection? That's when we did some digging and I found two products to try. So these are the two products that I picked up. The first one is from Amazon, roughly about $50. It's called a Solar Bug Zapper Lantern. Essentially, it's a mosquito zapper that doubles as a lantern as well. Uh, like I mentioned, it's solar powered, right? So you can charge it uh, by the sun, but it also can be charged by USB. It lasts nine to 10 hours, which is really good. Turns on like this. It's got different uh, lighting modes, but when you turn on the zapper itself, it glows in this purple light. Mosquitoes are attracted to it. Electricity runs through it. They die and it does its job. So really simple device works really well as a passive mosquito zapper in the campsite area, which I'm really excited to test. The other product I have here is by a company called Thermacell. They specialize in mosquito repellent type products. Their newest product is the E55 Radius Zone and it's quite small. It's USB powered, doesn't last quite as long. It's only good for five and a half hours on battery. They use these proprietary cartridges like this. The one that it comes with is good for 12 hours, but if you buy another one, it's good for 40 hours. So they last quite a long time uh, without having to replace it. This costs about 70 Canadian dollars. Cartridges are about $30. So it does add up if you start buying more and more cartridges. Now, what's great about this is that it uses essentially um, an ingredient called uh, similar to permethrin, which is a mosquito repellent. It, you know, not to get too scientific here, but mosquitoes, it excites the neuroreceptors of the mosquitoes where they're, they're not interested in feeding anymore. So essentially you get stoned where they don't want to bite you anymore. So uh, the improvement with this product is that this is good for 20 feet of protection around it versus other thermocell products I think are around 15 feet. So this is the widest range of protection. So you just put it in the center of your patio, your campsite, and you're, you're good all around. Mosquitoes aren't gonna come get you. Um, unlike uh, tiki candles, uh, diffusers, or other products like that, it doesn't emit any smoke, odor, or use any DEET, so that's really good. And this is also useful for uh, gnats and black flies. So I'm excited to test these products out right here and we'll see who comes out on top. So for our first test, we're gonna try the Amazon product. This is the Mosquito Zapper. Uh, we're gonna be cooking here and eating in this area, so it makes sense to put it on this picnic bench. There's a button right here that turns it on. Press it, purple light goes on, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna leave it and see how many mosquitoes we catch. We already got our first target. Zapped. Wow, it's crazy. I don't know if you can tell, but there are a ton of flies that got zapped. It's crazy. So we ran the mosquito zapper for a day and here is the result. I'm actually really impressed with what I saw. I wasn't sure if we'd catch anything uh, because of how quiet it's been here at the campsite, but you know, looking at it now, there's easily 
a hundred, a hundred different mosquitoes and other flying things. I think a small moth in there as well. Uh, at night, it was crazy. Everything was attracted to this. And so that's my, one of the points I wanted to say is that this is really effective at night because it uses the UV light and this being the only light source in the dark, everything goes to it. But during the day, not so much. I mean, there are less mosquitoes for sure, but it didn't seem like they were really attracted to the light. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's packed. Every single metal line has a dead mosquito. So yeah, this is really good. Um, one thing I wasn't so sure about is like, okay, great, after a day of use, it's so full, how's it gonna attract more and, and kill more mosquitoes in the upcoming days. And so this actually comes with a mini brush. And so I think what you're supposed to do, I'm right by the fire pit. It's got a bunch of slits in here. Uh, we are just going to gently try to brush them off, I think. And they're just falling off. Yep, they're pretty crispy. And you kind of just go through every sector as best as you can. Some are a little bit hard to reach. So this is, there's probably a way to do a deep clean of this afterwards, but this gets a lot of them off. Yeah, these corners are a little bit harder to get to. Yeah, yeah it's not almost like not long enough. Okay, got about half of them off. I got, I got some of it cleaned, but the corners I can't get to at all seems like a bit of a design flaw. All right, so after my cleaning attempt, I've realized that the bristles on this are just a little bit too short to really get to the corners here. The middle I can get to for the most part after a bit of wiggling and, and really trying to get all the bristles in, but that's a bit of a design flaw, I think. Now, the best way to clean this is probably by taking the entire plastic cover off. There are three screws on each side and you can take them off so you can do a deep clean, but you're probably not gonna do that until you get home. So that's just something you gotta be aware of. Uh, but, but again, I'm impressed with how many it caught. I don't know if it creates a sphere of protection. It definitely attracts them at night, not so great during the day. Uh, but yeah, that's Mosquito Zapper. Now let's test the Thermocell E55. Just like the previous product, we're gonna set it up in a realistic environment, but the first thing we gotta do is actually set up the device itself. So I've actually already pre-charged this at home. It's good for five and a half hours again. And the first step is to take the lid off. It's held together by a magnet, which is handy. And then you take your cartridge. This cartridge comes with it, it's 12 hours. There's another one that's 40 hours uh, in terms of how long you can use it for. Uh, you have to take off the lid and you just pull it out and it comes out, there's a wick on top, the blue part sticks on top, and really simple, you just slot it in there. There's no snap, it just sits right there. The lid, you can just put aside. You might need it later if you want to reuse this later on. After that, you just put the lid back on, snaps back by a magnet, and you're gonna wanna turn it on. And there's just one simple button at the front, right there, you press it once, makes that nice tone. It shows the LED lights to tell you that it's on, and then you're good to go. Uh, there's no noise, there's no odor, there's no smoke or anything like that. It's pretty silent, so you don't really know that it's running other than with the light. So, we're gonna place this in the middle of our picnic table. This is pretty much where we're gonna be working and eating and cooking and hanging around for the next little while, so this is the best place to put it. It's recommended that you keep it on for 15 minutes to start with to establish that 20 feet zone. So I'm really curious to see how this works and I'll report back soon. In testing the Thermocell E55, didn't get bit at all. But more importantly... Me too. So I was really impressed with the Thermocell. Um, as you saw earlier, it's pretty much set and forget. Uh, you leave it kind of in the center zone, it sets up the radius. I will say it's hard to test the entire 20 feet, but for entire campground, it felt like it was quieter throughout the afternoon and evening. Didn't really hear a lot of mosquitoes. I think the only time was when I had my headlamp on and uh, flies and mosquitoes might have been attracted to it um, and heard some buzzing, but beyond that, really didn't get bit at all. So I feel like it worked. 
But that's the thing. With this, it's really hard to tell whether it's working. You know, maybe there's just not a lot of mosquitoes out that night. Um, but I mean, if you take our word for the fact that we didn't get bit, then, you know, this was pretty effective for the evening. This did last just about the five and a half hours. I ran it into the morning as well. The red warning LED light did come on, so it does pretty much only last the five and a half hours. Cartridge wise, only about half of this was left out of the 12 hours. Um, so pretty much everything is as advertised. Um, overall, pretty happy with this. And uh, in regards to the battery, I think that being the con is that you run it into the evening and then once you're out during the day, you have to charge it so that you're ready to go again in the late afternoon and evening again. So that's something you need to know about, but really happy with the Thermosel E55. If you're looking for mosquito protection while camping, ultimately, I think you gotta go with the Thermosel E55. It's just really easy to set up, it's no mess, and it works. Uh, and it, I love that it sets up this radius of protection. You can walk around 20 feet and you're good to go. The Mosquito Zapper, I liked, but it only worked really at night. And you know, while you could see visually, I love that you can confirm that it's killing mosquitoes, but if you're outside of this area of the light, you might still get bit. And so that's kind of the problem with this guy. So again, the Thermosel E55, I think is the, the winner. The only thing you gotta be careful with is the charging of the battery. So that's a wrap. Oh, and if you really wanna be uber protected, I'd say why not get both? Set it up at camp, at the patio back home, and you're good to go. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and be protected from mosquitoes while going to awesome places.